In my secrets of a .NET Ninja talk, I have a demo where I take three lines of code and reduce it to one line of code. Now I don't do that because three lines of code is necessarily better than one line of code. I do it because one line of code is more readable than the three lines of code. If the three lines of code were more readable than the one line, it would be preferable. Just so you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to show you the very end of that demo. So inside file demo, I'm going to call file, and it looks like we need to use our using clause. I'll put using system.io up here. Put file dot read all lines. File dot text. Dot delimited reverse. Dot write. and we have to pass the file name back into it. So what's going to happen is this file gets read, it's a comma separated file. Each line in that file has a delimited reverse performed on it so each element gets flipped around and then it's written back out to the same file. I achieved this by assigning the functionality where it belongs and then reducing one of the link statements, the select link statement, which which is a projection. This is achieved through the enumerable string extensions helper class. This is where I've set the delimit methods, where there's an overload, by default it takes a comma, and the write method. And the write method is very simple and just calls file dot write all lines. And if you look at the delimit reverse method, the delimit reverse method is a pass through to the select method. And the select method is just splitting the strings out on a comma, reversing them, and then delimiting them back. So if we take a look at file.txt, you can see why I would want to do that. It says pirates beat ninjas, and we know that pirates don't beat ninjas. But that's pretty much where the demo had ended at, is that we have one line of code describing exactly what we're going to do. And if I were to open this file up in half a year I would know exactly what's going on. So there could be some criticism to be said about the fact that I'm putting strings in here. I'm hard coding file.txt twice and that's no good. So I'm going to move that to a variable. I'm going to use just code to do a introduce variable. Now we have a variable now it's going to read all lines s and to be quite honest, I don't even want that to be a variable. The method itself should take it as a parameter. So I'm come up here and use just code again to move to parameter. And wow, well lo and behold, inside my main method, when it's calling file demo, it knew to call a file demo with file.txt as a parameter. So here is where the actual criticism came in. The criticism is that this method is dependent upon the file system. We have no way to separate those concerns out and it makes it more difficult to mock for unit tests. Well, that's actually very easy to take care of. The first thing we need to do is actually build an interface for accessing the file system or any other type of system. So I'm going to add a new, well actually let's put it down here. And I'll extract it out in a few minutes. Let's say public interface i file, and we we need to define the methods that we, we would be using. It looks like we're using read all lines and we're using write all lines. So let's make that i enumerable string. And come back up here using system dot collections dot generic read all lines and it expects some string file name we don't actually want to take it like that so let's change this if we were making an i file interface we would probably want to pass the path to the file in the constructor. So let's leave that alone. Instead we will create a string path 
get set. The final thing we need to do is a void write all lines. And inside of here, you'll take a parameter for an enumerable of string. Okay, we've defined our interface. Let's extract this out into another file. Move type to another file. It's over here now. And now we need to create a derived type that we can use later on for testing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Click on here. I'm going to create derived type. It's made a file. I honestly don't want to name it that. I'm going to name it OS file because we're already using file for the built in.NET class. I'm going to extract this out into a another file. Okay, so we have OS file extracted out to its own file. We have the path that's got the getting set. We can get rid of the all that mess. Okay, and public enumerable string read all lines. Uh, we're missing a squiggly. There we go. The only thing the OS file is going to do is it's going to call file.readAllLines and with the path. And we need to return that. Write all lines. We're going to do basically the same thing. Call file.writeAllLines. And it needs the path, so we'll pass in the path. And it needs the content, so we'll pass in strings. Okay, great. We have a working OS file. Of course, we should have a constructor because it really needs the path to begin with. Let's highlight this. Choose um, C, create constructor. And we have OS file with a constructor. Let's save all this. Now, if I go back to the file demo method, what I want to do is change string to be I file. Let's comment this out for now. Change string to be I file. Make this file. We're going to call file in the lowercase file rather than the uppercase stack class file. It's going to read all lines in. It doesn't matter what kind of I file that's being passed to it. Whenever we call write, we want to pass the file. Now the problem is write is an extension method of an I enumerable of strings. So we need to go add a new extension method to do this. So I can go over to enumerable string extensions, find our write method, copy it, paste it. Instead of taking a string of path, we'll take in an I file, file. And then instead of calling file.write all lines, we'll do lowercase file.write all lines. And it doesn't need the path, it knows the path already. Strings. Cool. We should be good to go. That is how you separate out concerns. If I wanted this to be, or to be able to accept in an I file, I can say um, new OS file. And then if I run it, file.txt is inside our bin debug folder. If I open it up, we find that ninjas beat pirates, so it worked great.